one, two, three. Three knives, three by three knife tag coming your way. I'm Donnie Pavellini, Donnie Pavellini Outdoors, and Mr. Kyle with Plant Based Outdoors tagged me with this 3x3 knife tag. First part of the tag is your most budget knife that you have, okay? And mine is one of the Moors, like everybody else's, but this one is the, the little basic craft knife, okay? and it's got the carbon steel blade on it it's well used and I love this knife because I can do lots of things with it uh, my favorite thing to do with this knife believe it or not is food prep it, uh, it just cuts up meat and veggies and everything else and uh, it's great for that a lot of people select the Mars for their their budget knives and it's wild because of the outstanding quality and performance that the Mora knives offer for such a, an attractive price. It's, it's really awesome for people getting into something that can have a proper tool. Now, the second knife is your most recent purchase. Now, I'm not sure if the, this knife tag video is supposed to be about fixed blade knives only. Uh, if it is, then I'll apologize now. If it's not, then full steam ahead. And my choice for my most recent purchase is this one. The Open L Gardener. I love this Open L model Gardener with the Inox or stainless steel blade and it's a drop point. I really really like that a lot this knife is being used more and more every day it proves itself to be that useful I think what would be kind of cool is you know and people wear neck knives and things to make like a sheath for a folder like this one um, this one doesn't break the bank either I think I paid $18 for it good knife. Now our last stop on the 3x3 knife tour is your most used knife. I'm gonna limit this to most used in outdoor activities because my actually my most used knife is a little clicker wallpaper knife that I use every day at work. I'm saving the best for last of this 3x3 knife tour because uh, this is the one that I use the most in the outdoors and uh, you know I've, I've got the other two knives out of the way I uh, had a really nice supper man it was awesome lima beans and lots of ham and stuff and I'm not too horny either so I can talk about this one this is simply tried and true condor bush lore I use this bad boy all the time and I modified a swamp romper sheath to put my fire steel in it's got a dangler you know I waited I really did I waited for a while for the traffic to die down to come shoot this video and it got quiet I mean quiet I'd come out here and check and everything and it got to where it was quiet and now I'm doing the video so I guess everybody that doesn't know how to cook in the great city of Biloxi is gonna go out and get a pizza or something I hell I don't know what's going on I apologize for the traffic noise this condor bush lore I've had it for over two years this thing has served me well I paid thirty nine dollars for it Guys, if you're new to this and you don't know anything about the Condor, uh, they offer good knives. Uh, if you have a problem with a knife, I had a problem with my Swamp Romper knife. 
and uh, hey, they're going to replace it. I mean, another one's on the way. So Condor stands behind their stuff, and so, you know, here's to you, Condor. Well, there's my three. I have to tag three other guys to do their knife videos. The first one I'd like to tag is Mr. Mike Ware with Absorb Self-Reliance. The second one that I would like to tag, good lord, this damn traffic shit. <laughs> God. Holy smoke. <laughs> the second one that I would like to tag would be Mr. Florida Boy Bushcraft. I'd like to see your 3x3 three three knife thing. And the third and final will be my buddy, Mr. Homer Mayo. Homer, show us what you got. Show us some of those beautiful knives that you've made. Plus, I'd like to see your budget versions too. So, that's my pick for the next three guys to do this. I also want to mention, I have to mention, the three month warning three more months we're going to have the third annual southern bushcraft rendezvous in morton mississippi i would like to invite you to go to our facebook page and let us know if you're coming it's going to be a great time and more about this event will definitely be announced in the near future along with the logo and so forth I'm going to try to put together for our shirts this year. Uh, we always want to up the game a little bit. So, thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Kyle, with Plant Based Outdoors for tagging me to do this video. So, from Donnie Pavolini to you and yours, as always, hey, we'll see you in the woods. Maybe there won't be any cars. <laughs> Take care. Oh yeah, now the traffic's gonna stop, okay.